Okay, um, my name is Elena Rosavina, I'm the Executive Director of Witness to Innocence. And um, first we're going to sort of warm up the room, we're going to ask and let people know who we are. Who are we? Witness to Innocence! Who are we? Witness to Innocence! Who are we? Witness to Innocence! Alright, now you know who we are. And what we're about is educating people about wrongful convictions and why we need to abolish the death penalty and bring a little justice to this country and to this state. So we're uh, happy we're going to have a number of speakers, about four of them. Uh, the first one is uh, a representative from here, Nikki Antonio of Lakewood, Ohio. She's been a champion of this issue and they have developed co-sponsors on both sides of the aisle for these issues to taking steps to make justice more fair and eventually abolishing the death penalty. So I'd like to introduce you to Nikki. Nikki, come on up. Sit down. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Blessed. Blessed. Yes, we are blessed. We are definitely, we are definitely blessed. Thank you for that, for that beginning. My name is Nikki Antonio. Uh, for three General Assemblies, I have introduced an end to the death penalty through various bills. Um, this past General uh, Assembly, uh, earlier this year, um, my co-sponsor, Representative Naraj Antani, who is a Republican from the 42nd House District, and I, introduced House Bill 289. Once again, uh, to end the use of the death penalty in Ohio and replace it with life without parole for a capital crime. You know, the death penalty is a punishment that's been shown to be administered with disparities across economic and racial lines while failing as a deterrent to violent crime. In addition, the infallibility of the verdict as the exonerees who are here with us today, I mean, look at this. Look at this. These are all Exonerees. That is amazing. And they are not all of the exonerees from across the country. We have people from across the country, as well as from my very own Cuyahoga County, who were sentenced to death, but then were found to be innocent. This is a problem. This is a problem of <coughs> lifetime proportions. There's also a financial cost to taxpayers, an emotional cost to victims and their families. The victims' families who continue to go through uh, stress through the appeal process and the continued difficulty that the state has in obtaining drugs required for le lethal injection. And I also want to mention in finding personnel, qualified personnel, to even do the injection because medical personnel have dedicated their lives to saving lives, not ending them. It is wrong to ask professionals in the medical profession to end people's lives. There's a reasonable conclusion for reasonable people. And I continue to believe that the best way forward for death penalty reform in Ohio, I understand we have reforms there's 13 reforms that folks are going to talk about later. These are, a step, these are steps forward. And I applaud the work that's gone on on behalf of those reforms. But ultimately, the best reform is the reform to abolish capital punishment in Ohio and replace it with a sentence of life without parole. Yes. became the 18th state to do away with the death penalty. Although the United States is considered a first world country, and if this is said over and over again, we can't hear it enough. We are one of 58 countries to retain the death penalty, along with China, Iran, Vietnam, and Cuba. We are the only Western nation and member of NATO who still uses the death penalty. Only 21 countries used this form of punishment last year. I join with Pope Francis, the Ohio Supreme Court Justice Paul Piper, Ohio Supreme, former Ohio Supreme Court Judges 
Justice Evelyn Lundberg Stratton, former Attorney General Jim Petro, and other leaders across our state to call for an end of the use of capital punishment in Ohio. It is time to execute justice, not to execute people. Thank you. Amen. Nikki Antonio, you uh, you got to our hearts, and hopefully the people of Ohio will understand where they can become leaders in the country by making this change. Now I'd like to introduce a friend and a brother in this uh, struggle and work, Kevin Warner, who's the director of Kavatsi, the Ohioans to Stop Execution. Kevin, come on up, brother. to uh, Ohio, um, and, and I want to echo uh, concerns that Representative Antonio has raised uh, about the death penalty. Uh, Witness to Innocence is coming to Ohio at a, at a unique time. Um, as Representative Antonio alluded to, the Ohio Supreme Court looked at the death penalty in Ohio and came up with 56 ways that, that if you're going to retain it, at a minimum, it needs to be fair and it needs to be accurate. Thirteen of those recommendations <laughs> dealt directly with uh, ways to prevent wrongful convictions. Those reform recommendations came in May of 2014. It's October of 2000, uh, uh, yeah. So, so here we are just uh, about six months later, and it's past time for the legislature to act. Um, our view at Ohioans to Stop Executions is that Ohio does not need the death penalty. It doesn't need the death penalty because A, it does nothing to meet the needs of victims' family members. Uh, it's nothing but a, a, an expense that we cannot afford, often to give a result that is flat wrong. And more importantly, I think that our society understands now that there are better alternatives that exist. So if Ohio is going to keep the death penalty, it ought to, at a bare minimum, make sure that it is getting the, the people who are responsible for crimes and not sending innocent people to death. The 13 recommendations that the task force put forth are here. Um, we have given these to the legislature. We'll continue to talk with legislators about the need to at least make sure we're not sentencing innocent people to death. On the back, the nine people from Ohio who were wrongfully convicted, I think I counted more than 207 years collectively they spent in prison for crimes they had nothing to do with. There's something that we can do about that, and it's time for the legislature to act. Well, thank you. Came, um, we came to Ohio because we needed to support the local community and the representatives and others to, um, to work towards justice, freedom, and the abolishment of the death penalty. But I've got to tell you what really brought us here and, and made it possible is uh, one of our local heroes, Father Neil Kakuthi, and I don't know if I said your name right, but uh, if it was Martinez, it would be much easier. <laughs> Him and his parish are our hosts, and we really appreciate it. But it's people like that who stand up, who are people of faith, people of community that help our work and the work of others to move forward in this community. Now I'd like to introduce to you uh, a longtime friend of mine, an activist in this country, but more importantly, international, internationally. And we're here because the International Day of, uh, to work on abolishment of the death penalty worldwide, which is an important question, and we have the president or chair of, uh, of the coalition, World Coalition, Elizabeth Citron, all the way from uh, a place called San Francisco to be with us. But she's been on an international journey for the last two weeks. Elizabeth?
actually went to school in Ohio, so um, I've seen this weather before, and it only gets worse. Um, <laughs> You're right. Same. Um, my name is Elizabeth Zittman. I am from, uh, here from San Francisco, California. I'm a lawyer. I'm president of the World Coalition Against the Death Penalty. October 10th uh, every year is World Day Against the Death Penalty, and that is what brings us here. There are people gathering this week to uh, mark World Day Against the Death Penalty. Here you see our, our poster for the year all over the world. Last year we had over 400 events in over 80 countries, 82 countries, I think, for, for World Day. Uh, the World Coalition has been around for 13 years now, and we are what we sound like. We are a coalition of organizations all over the world in both retentionist, which is uh, abolition speak for uh, countries that still have the death penalty, both in abolitionist countries and in retentionist countries. Um, uh, there, uh, we have bar associations, human rights organizations, non-governmental organizations, what we would call here uh, 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 nonprofits, and uh, also trade unions, some regional uh, governments that have long been opposed to the death penalty. This is, and uh, Witness to Innocence, I'm very happy to say, um, is a member of the World Coalition Against the Death Penalty. Um, we are, have over 150 organizations in over 50 countries all over the world. Um, and part of uh, the reason that I, I've been a very strong supporter of this <coughs> Innocence from its beginnings, and part of the reason that I really encouraged Witness to Innocence to become a member of the World Coalition is uh, because we are not just a local or a national struggle. This is a global movement. Uh, and in the 21st century, more than any time before, uh, what happens in one place impacts what happens in another place. Uh, Witness to Innocence, uh, I'm from California. In 2012, we had an initiative on our ballot to end the death penalty. We came very close, within four points. And um, I can tell you that other than cost, which uh, um, is much, much, much higher for the death penalty to sentence people to death and incarcerate them on death row than uh, life without parole or any other sentence. Other than cost, and even considering cost, the single most persuasive thing to change people's minds about the death penalty, to turn them from being supporters of the death penalty, or unsure, because honestly, most people don't think about the death penalty in their daily lives. The single most important thing is the testimony of death row exonerees. There is nothing in the world more persuasive in terms of convincing people that the death penalty is a broken system, it's wrong, it's too uh, liable to error, catastrophic, irreversible error, the execution of an innocent person. There is nothing more persuasive than death row exonerees. And uh, so that was true in California. We had some Witness to Innocence members come and do the uh, California tour, the exonerees tour in California, which was fantastic. I got to go. Um, uh, but having uh, death row exonerees go to other places in the world is an enormously powerful message there, too. We now have death row exonerees in other countries in the world. In North Africa and Morocco, there have been exonerees. There are exonerees in Taiwan. Um, and uh, Witness to Innocence has greeted them, has welcomed them as brothers, has welcomed them into the family. Uh, Kirk Bloodsworth from uh, Witness to Innocence said to these guys from Taiwan, um, uh, there are 150 of us, and we're just like you. Um, so. We have both, the world wants to support the work of, of Witness to Innocence and support the exonerees, and the exonerees, uh, Witness to Innocence, has a tremendous amount to offer to the rest of the world. Um, this year's theme for World Day is uh, the death penalty for drugs, which is not a, a really an issue in the United States. We have a theoretical federal death penalty for drugs that's never been used. But in, in other places in the world, it's uh, a holocaust. 
In Iran, more than 2,500, 2,500 people have been executed for drug crimes in the past five years alone. Indonesia is executing increasingly. While the death penalty is going down generally, it's going up for drug crimes. More than half of the people executed in Iran are executed in public with no notice from construction cranes hanging uh, for drug crimes. Mostly low-level mules, many women, marginalized people. Even though this specific aspect of the death penalty is not particularly an issue in the United States, again, encourage uh, everyone concerned about criminal justice, concerned about justice, concerned about the death penalty, uh, to uh, look at this as a global problem. We are the world. We are the people. We are all in it together. We help each other. And um, th that's what the World Coalition is about. We are. Um, many thousands of people strong, many thousands of people today, including the European Union, the United Nations, the Secretary General of the United Nations, all over the world, recognizing that this is a global problem and we're all here to end the death penalty. Thank you very much. Amen. Thank you. Elizabeth is right, and the, the voice of the Exonerees is the most powerful voice in all the changes you've seen on, on capital punishment in the last years in states where they've gone to moratorium or abolition or in the progress. And you're going to hear from two of our exonerees, one our board chair and one a, a local gentleman here who's exonerated. But first I'd like to introduce you to the board chair of Witness to Innocence, uh, Mr. Randy Seidel. I just want to thank Kevin and Leno and everybody for getting us here in Ohio who has so many wrongful convictions and innocent people being released from death row. And Ohio's, Ohio's to stop executions, I'm just speaking to a core group here, but these cameras will relay the total message to all Ohioans should be concerned about stopping the executions. Because 155 men and women in this country have been wrongfully sentenced to die. And behind me today, this group of men and women have spent a combined total of over 300 years innocent and on death row. That should shock every Ohioan to the core. It doesn't just happen in all the other states, it happens here. There were 20 of us in Illinois alone. So I thank you all for giving the privilege of these men and women to come here. These are the educators against capital punishment. Each one of them has a story to tell. These men and women have suffered tragically, and the public needs to know about it. And the only way the country is going to be rid of the death penalty is by hearing their voices. So thank you very much. Amen. I like his passion uh, because we are the voice of the future and of freedom and of justice. And um, and after uh, Kwame speaks, uh, we're going to be open to questions. So I'd like to introduce a good brother and a high one, and one of our members and an exonerated person, <coughs> Kwame Ajamu. Come on up, my brother. to stop uh, the uh, death penalty and executions. Witness to Innocence, of which I am a member of, is probably the greatest entity right now that we could have fighting this fight, uh, forging this battle to end and stop the death penalty, not only in Ohio, in the United States, but the world around. We hope that um, we can end this atrocity today. We hope that tomorrow's newspapers would say that there's no more death penalty. All we right. know that uh, this won't happen, but this is our goal and our intentions. Mm -hmm. Myself personally, I will be at this point or wherever for the rest of my life. My life depends on having that new people know that it was so destroyed. 
of the atrocities that happened to myself and my brother and my best friend in 1975.